Welcome back to this series of conversations with telecom executives. I'm Terry Sweeney, contributing editor to Light Reading. I'm joined now by Tunjai Chil, Chief Strategy Officer with ASIA. Tunjai, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Terry. We're both working from home during this ongoing pandemic, um, which speaks to the, the, the sweet spot that ASIA addresses broadly with its network management products. Talk about the unique innovation that you bring to the work from home equation. So with our new platform, Keep, um, what we are focusing on is essentially the work from home experience. And what we've discovered uh, during the first days of the pandemic was the usage patterns and the needs were significantly different for the teleworker compared to the regular, uh, regular residential user. And it, at the core, the issue is the business user needs uh, stability and reliability a lot more than, for example, super low latency or some um, downstream uh, bandwidth, right? And also the way and how uh, this connectivity uh, is provided and used was uh, more important. For example, most of the time um, was spent on either teleconferencing apps or uh, if you're an engineer, uh, it's important when you do file uploads, etc. So we've analyzed all these um, different cases where the problems were, and we decided that we had to build our system ground up. We had to come up with new ways of measuring QoE. We had to come up with new ways of doing Wi-Fi optimization. And we've also ventured into the WAN optimization space because we had to. So in its core, uh, we, are, we have built uh, this new uh, paradigm called workput. So it's like work and throughput. And it's basically the connectivity portion of the work productivity, which we measure and take actions uh, when certain apps are used by the telework devices. So we build our innovation um, on top of uh, this new uh, concept. That's great. Um, who are the users and buyers of Akeep and where do ISPs fit into the equation? This puzzle, let's call it, has multiple faces. So uh, on one corner, uh, we have, of course, the teleworker, right? And so it's, for example, you, me, uh, working for a company. So we're trying to do our works at home. So our challenge is to be able to um, talk over Zoom or uh, upload files, etc. So that's the first audience and the needs. And the second corner of this puzzle is the employer. Because traditionally, this residential connectivity is a silo that the enterprise IT management did not touch. Uh, however, because now work is done at home, uh, this also becomes the employer's problem. So, and the third uh, corner, if you like, uh, is the ISPs because they are entrenched in delivering the last mile service and uh, now also home Wi-Fi. And there's also a fourth corner, which is what I call the greater ecosystem, where these are IT uh, enterprise IT software tools third-party support services, security especially. So these are different audiences, right? As especially for the employ employees and employers, the issue is all about work productivity, right? So we improve that. And for ISPs, the focus on the business side is purely revenue generation. So this is a platform where ISPs can deliver the uh, connectivity services and adjacent cross-sell opportunities. And for the rest of the ecosystem, this is a way to um, reach the work from home um, population through the ISP channel. Thanks for that. Um, in, in our conversations about Akeep, you've, you've emphasized um, ecosystem integration with team productivity apps. Why is that important? Um, we, what we've discovered, again, um, in our early days of analysis of what went wrong uh, with the connectivity uh, during uh, pandemic uh, adjustments was the fact that the individual connectivity issues uh, uh, were actually affecting entire team uh, productivity. So, for example, there were many Zoom calls that we have analyzed uh, where there are five to ten um, att attendees and 
even if it's just one person having the issue, connectivity issue, is essentially, essentially taking down everybody's productivity, right? Especially in um, mission critical situations, whether a critical support or a critical sales position, this is unacceptable, right? So um, for this reason, we wanted to bridge the gap between two different silos, right? This is the enterprise application silo and the residential networking silo. So we are trying to find a way to marry the two so that the overall productivity of the team and of course the employer gets better. Terrific. Um, talk a bit, if you will, about the components of the, the, of the solution. What do the employee, the employer, and the ISP all need to, to operate the solution itself? Yes. Um, our philosophy, um, as much as the technology and regulations allow us, is to make the service um, totally invisible to the employer, employee, right? Our belief is such that um, employees should just focus on their work and uh, connectivity and application. Uh, is, these are just tools. And again, if possible, they should be invisible. There are some cases, of course, there will be some... Um, some kind of interface to uh, either activate the service or uh, add new components. Uh, for example, depending on um, the arrangement with the employer, there may be a new box uh, that would provide security and also the additional WAN connection. Um, and in some other cases, this is combined with a, a business-grade Wi-Fi uh, box as well. In other cases, it's uh, it's not right. So it depends on the situation. It depends on what system uh, will be shipped to the uh, to the employee. So for the employer, it uh, it's mostly about the IT administrator, right? So we again, our philosophy there is uh, as much as possible we uh, automate what we do, uh, as opposed to rely on the IT administrator to figure things out. For that reason, the troubleshooting uh, portion is um, mostly um, automated. And uh, of course, we do also offer dashboards um, and uh, we do offer API integrations with the rest of the enterprise IT system that an employer might be using, right? Um, for the ISPs, uh, there, uh, essentially, there are several different components of one is uh, on the WAN side, whether it's a wireless or a wireline uh, connection, uh, we interface the necessary central office equipment. And um, also uh, in cases where the ISP would like to provide the uh, value added 24 seven support services or the premium technician dispatch type of services for a fee. So we interface with their system as well. By doing that, we would be able to bring um, all these extra services and also the core service of ISP to many different channels of enterprise uh, IT tools and services domain. Well, well, any anything that makes networking during the pandemic and work from home applications easier is uh, is a is a big step forward. So, yes, um, yes. thanks for joining us today, uh, Tunjai. Uh, appreciate your comments here. Thanks for having me, Terry. We've been talking with Tunjai Chil of ASIA. This has been Terry Sweeney for Light Reading. Thanks for joining us today. To work from home as a productive team without connectivity issues, with peace of mind. Introducing Equip. Higher worker productivity, better connected remote teams. Because one bad connection means a decrease in productivity for the entire organization. Equip brings visibility and reliability to essential collaborative business applications. The industry's first enterprise and SMB IT tool for managing residential connections. The platform seamlessly pre-integrates with an ecosystem of ISPs, enterprise tools, and applications. The new normal starts with a strong connection. Learn how you can be a part of the Equip ecosystem.